on the moon. Dad has been away on a mission, but he'll be home soon. Attention, I have good news. Guess who is coming? Yes, my family! I am home! Dad! I got the rocky ground samples from Mars! Yes, it's Dad. Spoil the surprise. I was never very good at surprises. Here's a photo of me landing on Mercury. I zoomed in towards the rocky ground and then bump! Fantastic! <laughs> You're the best pilot I know, Dad. That's right! It's all in the wrists. Ooh, a photo of me landing on Venus. Wow! Here's the best photo of all. That's me landing on Mars. The ship made a really loud crunch sound as it hit. Crunch! <laughs> I love loud landings. <laughs> Zoom! Crash! <laughs> These Mars samples are perfect, Dad. I just need you to get one more sample from the rocky planets. Can I come too, Dad? Of course. You both can. But where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? I need a sample from the rocky ground of planet Earth. Earth? I love Earth. I'm from Earth, you know. Let's find out about Earth. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Earth, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. The third one along here is a very special planet called Earth. Earth is a blue and green planet. The blue here is water, the sea. The amazing thing about Earth is that it is full of life. Trees, animals, people, and children. Earth is where you live. That's what makes it so special. So remember, Earth is a blue and green planet with lots of water and full of life. You live on planet Earth. Did you know that? Could you please help me remember about Earth? Earth is a blue and green planet with lots of water and it's full of life. Trees, animals, people and you. Thanks. Cosmo out. Let's go to Earth to dig up some rocky ground samples. Zoom, quash. <laughs> Begin launch sequence. Sun. Where all life has its birth Look left, look right, look down, look all around What you see is planet Earth There is a special little planet called Earth It's green and blue It's amazing, full of life And trees and birds and seas And you Gil, set a course for Earth. Course set. If you would like some light refreshments. Surprise! I have no idea where we're going. What? I was trying to surprise you. Like I knew where I was going. But I don't. Surprise! Earth! We're going to Earth. Will you help me find Earth? Great! One of these planets is Earth. But the pictures aren't coloured in. Let's take a closer look. Earth has something that no other planet has. Can you see what it is? Which one is planet Earth? This one has life. Trees, birds, animals. 
So this must be Earth, where you live. Earth is a blue and green planet with lots of water and it's full of life. Here we go! It's beautiful! Entering Earth's atmosphere now! Are you all strapped in? All strapped in, Dad. Hold on tight. It might be a bit bumpy as we hit the rocky ground. Zoom, crash. <laughs> Zoom. And here comes the landing. Three, two, one. Any second now, here it comes. Uh, Dad? Here comes the landing. Look out the window. That's not right. This isn't rocky ground. Surprise, you landed in water. We're in the sea. Oh, a bird. A seagull. That means we're not far from land. I have never seen so much water. There was no water like this on Mercury or Venus. Or Mars? Of course not. Earth is the only planet in the solar system with liquid water. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Earth is the only planet in the solar system with liquid water. But how will we get Mum's rocky ground samples? We'll find a way. But before that, who wants to go swimming? So, activate rubber ring mode. Wubble wing! Activate armband! <laughs> I'm swimming! Watch how far I can swim! I can do 40 lengths of the entire ocean! Look at Dad go! That's one! Two! <laughs> Dad! Three! I don't think you're swimming the entire ocean. Uh, well, not the entire ocean, but most of it. Oh, there we go, four lengths. You said you could do 40. Well, I could. I could swim anywhere I want, even down to the bottom. Oh, that gives me an idea. We need to dig Mum's ground samples, right? I'll get the shovel. But you can't dig water. No, but there has to be ground down there somewhere. Use my mask to look underwater. See if you can find the bottom. It looks all dark. I don't know if I can. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. I'm going to look underwater to find the ground at the bottom. Here goes. Wow, it is amazing. Look. to the sea. And Dad, there is ground down there. Great! Let's dig. Yay! You did it, Dad. Oh, it's just sand. We need to find land. But how? <laughs> Go away, bird. I'm trying to think. But, Dad, didn't you say the seagull means we're near land? <gasps> Follow that seagull! Land ahoy! Isn't it strange that Earth 
is the only planet with seas like this. What a surprising day, Dad. I'm just happy <laughs> I had both of you with me to enjoy it. Oh, I've got the samples and it's time to go home. Begin launch sequence. Sun. Where all life has its birth. Look left, look right, look down, look all around. What, what you see, see is planet Earth. Earth. And we learned something amazing today. Earth is the only planet in the whole solar system with liquid water. There is a special little planet called Earth. It's green. was a surprise. We brought your rocky earth samples, Mum. Mission complete! Thank you, everyone. Well, Dad, I expect you want to show me a photo of your landing. Oh, I forgot to take a photo. Well, it's probably for the best. Our earth landing was a bit of a surprise, actually. Zoom splash! <laughs> surprise! We're home! We're... hello? Hello? Huh? Oh, not to worry. I was never very good at surprises. Oh, hello! It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. Dad has been teaching me how to knit. Plain, plain pearl, plain, plain pearl, and done! Wow! What a supercharged knitting workout! <laughs> this is for you, Cosmo! <laughs> Thank you, Dad. It's beautiful. I knitted jumpers for everyone! Sol, <laughs> Gil, <sighs> and for Mum. Just how big do you think I am? Oh, silly me! This one is for Lifter. There. <laughs> and... Mum. But Dad, you haven't got a jumper. That's why I'm teaching you to knit, Cosmo. You can knit me a jumper. <laughs> Dad, thank you so much for our lovely jumpers. Now, if you've finished knitting, I have a mission for you. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? Today, I need you to travel to planet Venus. Venus! Oh, oh, oh! Wear your new jumpers. We can show them off to everyone on Venus. But, Dad! There's nobody there to show them off to. Oh, never mind. Wear them anyway, because you all love them so much, right? <laughs> Let's find out about Venus. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Venus. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one is called Venus. Venus is yellow. Venus is about the same size as Earth, where everyone watching today lives. Venus is incredibly hot, the hottest planet in the solar system. So remember, Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Could you please help me remember that? Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, 
and it's incredibly hot. Thanks. Cosmo out. When you get to Venus, scan its cloudy atmosphere. I want to find out exactly what's in those clouds. Scan the clouds. Got it. Gill and Lifter will bring special scanning equipment to help you. Take Sol along too. Cosmo, bring your knitting. You have to knit me a jumper, remember? I'll try, Dad. Begin launch sequence. Venus, Venus, a planet you should meet. It's a harsh yellow rock and it's scorching in the heat. With lots of nasty gas, volcanoes and hills. It's second from the sun and it really is a thrill. Remember. Plain, plain, pearl. I have seven million knitting patterns on file if you'd like to see them. Wow! Yes, please. Accessing knitting patterns. Error, hard drive full. No problem. I'll just delete some files to make space. Deleting. There we go. Oh no, don't delete. Don't delete. Oh. What's wrong, Gil? Deleted my planet files. Even Venus? Gone. All I've got left are my heat sensors. Will you help me find Venus? Great! We can't see the proper colours. All we can see is how hot or cold the planets are. This planet is very hot. This planet is just warm. And this planet here is cold. Is Venus hot, warm or cold? <coughs> Venus is hot! That's right! Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth. And it's incredibly hot. Let's go, Dad. Switching to autopilot. I have some knitting patterns to look at. Venus. Phew. It's too hot for woolly jumpers on Venus. You're not wrong there, dearie. We really should take them off. Take off your jumpers. Don't you like the jumpers I knitted for you? Oh, you don't like them, do you? You can tell me. We love the jumpers, Dad. It's just that... Oh, that's a relief. I thought maybe you wouldn't wear them. But you do like them, right? All of you? Yes. Yes. Of course, Petal. Jumper! Fantastic! Now, come on, we have to scan these clouds. It's so hot, but Dad will be upset if we don't wear our jumpers. Oh, I'm feeling a little out of sorts. Temperatures exceeding safe levels. Oh, you are a sorry lot. Still, look how lovely you all look in your woolly jumpers. Makes me proud. Come on. I too hot. Yes, I think I am too. <sighs> oh dear, I'm overheating. Uh, shutting down. Clear the way, dearies. Clear the way? Oh, clear the way! Oh dear. Whoa. get you inside where it's cooler. What are you doing? Venus is far too hot for woolly jumpers, Dad. No, it's not. You just don't like my jumpers. <laughs> oh, that's better. But we have to show Dad just how hot it is in these jumpers. I know, he can wear one and he'll feel just how hot it is. But which jumper would fit Dad? Small, medium, or big? This big one. 
the jumper I was knitting for Dad. But it's not finished. Plain? Um, no, that's not right. Pearl? Oh, I can't remember. I can't do it. You can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. Do you remember the stitches? Plain, plain, pearl. That's it. Say it with me. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. <laughs> it's finished. Thank you. Dad, this jumper is for you. It's beautiful. I'm going to wear it right now and show you all that it's not too hot for woolly jumpers on Venus. See? It's fine. Just a bit hot. Why is it so hot? Must wear jumper. Must wear. Oh, I can't do it. It's too hot. It's so hot. So hot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so, help me get these jumpers off Lifter and Gill. Welcome to Gill 5000 for all your supercomputing needs. Uh, that's a bit better. Stay away from me, hot jumper. Don't make me hot. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. The jumper can't make you hot if you're not wearing it. It can't. Jumpers work by keeping heat in. You warm up and the heat stays in, keeping you toasty warm. Now, come on. We still have to measure the clouds. So, why am I still hot? Because Venus is the hottest planet. Oh. Why? Hmm. Beginning atmospheric cloud scan. Thick cloud layers. Very thick clouds. Thick clouds? It's like a woolly jumper. Venus wears a woolly jumper? <laughs> no, Dad. It works like a jumper. Venus is so hot because its thick atmosphere keeps the heat in. Hey! That's something amazing to tell your friends. Venus is so hot because its thick atmosphere keeps the heat in. See? Super amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Scan complete. Then let's go home. Begin launch sequence. Venus, Venus, a planet you should meet. It's a harsh yellow Scorching in the heat With lots of nasty gas Volcanoes and hills It's second from the sun And it really is a thrill And we learned something amazing today Venus is so hot because its thick atmosphere keeps the heat in Oh, Venus, Venus A planet you should be Downloading Venus Atmosphere data now. Wow, perfect. Well done. Mission complete! You know what? I'm not going to knit anything that will make us too hot ever again. I'm going to keep everyone cool instead. How will you do that, Dad? I'm going to knit everyone woolly t-shirts and woolly shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Daddy. <laughs> It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. Dad and I have been out collecting moon rocks for Mum. We're the best ever at getting moon rocks. Best at finding rocks, picking rocks up, holding rocks, looking at rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Mum, we brought rocks for your experiment. Well done, Cosmo. Now. Activating core B. Please stand by. System error. What's wrong, Mum? Gil's had a very nasty crash. I better contact Mission Control. It's okay. 
I'm feeling much better now. Warning, dumping core memory. No, you're right. Better tell Mission Control. Mission Control is sending out a technician, but it could be a while. Oh? That's the end of my experiment until Gil's fixed. I am sorry. So unlike me. I am a supercomputer, you know. So, what do we do now? We wait, I suppose. Hmm. If you have no work to do, we could go on holiday. Holiday? I love holidays. That's a great idea. Holiday! <laughs> But where are we going? Where are we going? Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Mercury, Venus, Earth or Mars? So many planets out there in the stars. Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus too. Don't forget Neptune. I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? Good place for a holiday. The city of Paris or Rome? Venice. Oh, I love Venice. Planet Venus it is. <gasps> No, I said Venice, not Venus. Venus, Venus! Let's find out about Venus. The observatory, please. Patching you through now. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Venus. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one is called Venus. Venus is yellow. Venus is about the same size as Earth, where everyone watching today lives. Venus is incredibly hot, the hottest planet in the solar system. So remember, Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Could you please help me remember that? Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth. And it's incredibly hot. Thanks, Cosmo out. Where's Dad? Oh, oh, oh. The other six suitcases are already on the ship. Then we're all ready for a holiday. Begin launch sequence. Venus, Venus, a planet you should meet. It's a harsh yellow rock. And it's scorching in the heat With lots of nasty gas Volcanoes and hills It's second from the sun And it really is a thrill Oh, Venus, Venus A planet you should be Sorry, still feeling a bit funny. I think I'm lost. Don't worry, I'll find Venus. I'm the best pilot there is. You haven't got the best sense of direction. I have a great sense of direction. Oh, you're that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will you help me find Venus? Great. One of these planets is Venus. Each is a different color. Is Venus the orange planet? This yellow planet? Or the blue planet? Yellow! That's right! Yellow! This must be Venus! Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's very hot. That's Venus, Dad! Holidays, here we come! so sure <sighs> Venus is the best place <sighs> for a holiday. Well, you weren't sure my custard and cucumber sandwich would work either, remember? <sighs> we'll have a great holiday. That's right, Dad. Best holiday ever. 
Oh. It's hot. Phew. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. A sun holiday? No problem. Let's check into our hotel. Dad, there are no hotels on Venus. That's a bit shoddy. Well, then, we'll have a camping holiday. Let's see. Camping. That suitcase five and six. I've never been camping before. Will we stay in a tent? Oh, yes. I have it right here. We'll roast marshmallows, tell stories. Oh, and look. A map. Is it a real map? You bet. I drew it myself. Come on, everyone. We're going. <laughs> Lucky I did extra squats in the gym. I've never been so fit. I was planning on getting fit next week. Almost there, Cosmo! Let's see. I think it's that way, but I can't tell what this part of the map is. That's a drawing of what a dog would look like if it did ballet. That's a tutu. Not important. Well, then, we're almost there. I can't wait to roast marshmallows. Marshmallows, please. <laughs> Soon, Saul. It's too hot for us out here. Hm. It's getting windy, too. Not just windy, stormy. It's raining. Don't worry. I came prepared. Oh, my favourite umbrella. My map! This is acid rain! Not good! Cosmo and Sol are built for this weather, but Dad! Yeah. We need to get out of this acid rain! But where? Could you please help us find somewhere to take shelter from the acid rain? Look for shelter. There! We can take shelter under that rock. Quick, let's run! <laughs> Oh, oh. I'm too hot. Want mallows. Ouch! The ground is covered in cracks. My little feet will fall through. <gasps> I've got you! We made it! We're fantastic at running. Even you, Mum. Mm -hmm. I think Mum was right. Venus isn't a good place for a holiday at all. It has terrible weather. With acid rain. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Planet Venus has terrible weather with acid rain. Mallows. We'll have marshmallows just as soon as Dad sets up the tent. Oh. What's wrong, Dad? No tent. This is the wrong suitcase. <gasps> this is my rubber duck case. <laughs> the tent must be in that other one. It. But what about the acid rain? Don't worry. I'm built to withstand any planetary conditions. Oh, but the ground is full of cracks. I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. I know. I just won't step on the cracks. Now, to bring it back. You did it, Cosmo! A tent! Dad? Not a problem. It's quite nice out here, actually. I'll just stay here. <laughs> Mallows, my mallows! <laughs> <laughs> what a day. I know. Isn't this the best holiday ever? Not quite, but close. <laughs> mm. I'm hugging you all right now. Oh, the acid rain is stopping. Come on. I think I need to go home. Begin launch sequence. Should meet. It's a harsh yellow rock and it's scorching in the heat. With lots of nasty gas, volcanoes.
Meadows and Hills. It's second from the sun and it really is a thrill. And we learned something amazing today. Venus has terrible weather with acid rain. It's nice to be home. Just relaxing. Mission complete! There you go. Computer's all fixed. Picked up a fault in the AE35 unit. Just take a moment to reboot and Bob's your uncle. Welcome to Gil 5000 for all your supercomputing needs. Oh, hello. I feel much better. The experiment. Shall we get back to it? Busy, busy, busy. I am busy, Gil. Busy relaxing. And after that holiday, I'll be busy relaxing for quite some time. <laughs> oh, hello! It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. Dad is jogging. Dad loves exercise. Exercise is fantastic, Cosmo. I'm OK. Just tripped over this plug. Well, not to worry. <laughs> I'm the Jogging King! <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a workout! I'm a powerhouse! A very thirsty powerhouse. I need a nice cool drink with loads of ice. Oh, yes. Ice is what I need. If there's one thing I want, it's ice. No ice. That's strange. The fridge isn't working. I'll fix it. I am a supercomputer after all. Running fridge diagnostics. Estimated time left. Quite a while. But I want ice now! Gil will figure it out, I'm sure. But until then, no ice, I'm afraid. Oh. Oh, this again. Any ice back here? Ice? Anywhere? Ice! Are you out there? Oh. You can still have a drink without ice, Dad. Without it, my drink will be warm. Warm! I just want ice. Dad is very upset about the ice. I better not mention it again in case Dad gets even more upset. I have an idea. Oh. Let's take a trip somewhere. Take your mind off. Well, let's just go somewhere. OK. So, where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? How about one of my favourite planets, Planet Saturn? Ooh, one of the big ones. Let's find out about Saturn. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Saturn, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This big one is called Saturn. Saturn is a stripy yellow colour. It's a planet made of gas clouds. And the most amazing things about Saturn are the beautiful rings around it. So remember, Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet and you'll always know Saturn by its amazing rings. Could you please help me remember that? Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet, 
and it has amazing rings. Thanks, Cosmo out. We'll leave Mum with Gil to fix the fridge. But what about my ice? I still want ice. <laughs> Try to forget about the ice, Dad. We'll have a great time on Saturn. Begin launch sequence. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. Cloud and gas, yellow stripes it has. It's the gorgeous one, sitting six from the sun. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. We left Gil back home. Without him, how will we find Saturn? Dad, we were told all about Saturn. Weren't you paying attention? I was busy thinking about ice. Oh dear, will you help me find Saturn? Great! One of these three planets is Saturn. But which one? Is it the smallest planet? The biggest one? Or this one that, oh, looks a little different? Which one is Saturn? Ah, this one is Saturn because it has big rings around it, remember? Saturn is a stripy yellow planet. It's a gas planet and it has amazing rings. Saturn, here we come! <laughs> Getting close now. Wait until you see it, Dad. Saturn is the most amazing planet. Let's get a better look. Saturn? No, that's Titan, Sol. One of Saturn's moons. Oh, but look. Saturn! It's one of the most amazing planets in the whole solar system. Aren't Saturn's rings fantastic? I wonder what they're made of. Thanks for taking me to Saturn, Cosmo. It's even better than that time I knitted a scarf as long as four <laughs> elephants. They never wore it. Elephants don't like sharing. Saturn almost makes up for not having any ice. Almost. Would you like to see more of Saturn? Yes. Time for a spacewalk! Everybody remember where we parked? Here goes! One, two, three! Whee! Woo! Oh, brilliant! Come on, Sol! Come on, Cosmo! <laughs> Up to the sky! <laughs> Uh, I'll just wait here. <laughs> Come on, Cosmo. Let's all go together. No, it looks a bit far. I'm a bit scared of floating out in space. <laughs> we all get scared sometimes. <laughs> Don't let it hold you back. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. I won't let being scared hold me back. Here I come. One, two, three. Whee! This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Dad. He's having a great time. Daddy happy. He's very happy. Off I go to Saturn's rings. <laughs> and I think he's finally forgotten all about the ice. Wow, the rings are made of... Ice? Ice! Saturn's rings are made of ice! Lots and lots of pieces of ice! Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends! Saturn's rings are made of ice! Sparkly! 
Then that means... We can use ice from Saturn's rings for your nice, cool drink. That's what I wanted all along! Ice! Oh, this is the best, iciest day ever! I love Saturn! Let's collect some ice! Worn gloves, sir. My hands are getting very cold with all this ice. <laughs> oh, so cold. Dad is getting too cold. Quick, we better get him inside. <laughs> now, who fancies an ice cold drink? <laughs> So lovely and cold. <laughs> oh, Dad, hot oh. soup is much better when you're cold. <laughs> Saturn is amazing. And Saul, isn't it fantastic that Saturn's rings are made of ice? <laughs> bye bye, Saturn. Begin launch sequence. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. Cloud and gas, yellow stripes it has. It's the gorgeous one, sitting six from the sun. And we learned something amazing today. Saturn's huge rings are made of ice. In the depths of space, you'll see amazing things. But none more beautiful than Saturn and its rings. Scan complete. The fridge isn't plugged in. What? Not plugged in. <laughs> Oh, there's that plug I tripped over earlier. Better plug it back in. Oh, there we go. You fixed the fridge, Dad, all by yourself. Mission complete. You're amazing, Dad. Yes, I am pretty amazing, aren't I? You do know that it was you who unplugged the fridge in the first place, don't you, Dad? Still amazing. And that's why I had to spend all day mopping the floor? Amazing. <laughs> don't worry. Even though Dad fixed the fridge, you're amazing too, Mum. You're both as amazing as Saturn. Oh, hello. It's me, Cosmo. I live on the moon. It's Lifter's birthday today. Shh! It's a surprise! <laughs> surprise! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, hello! Lifter, it's your birthday! Happy birthday, Lifter! You have to make a wish, Lifter, and then blow out the candle. Are you sure, dearie? Have you ever seen me blow anything out? I can rustle up quite a breeze. It's not as if you're going to blow us away, is it? For that, you'd need super amazing bagpipe playing lungs like mine. <laughs> Go on, make a wish. Okay then, brace yourselves. Wish. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> 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 oh, that was fantastic. Wind, wind. <laughs> that was like wind. Lifter, you have the strongest breath ever! <laughs> so, what did you wish for, Lifter? I hope it wasn't a slice of cake. <sighs> oh, ho. Oh. What I love more than anything is interior decorating. Decorating? Beautiful designs. And where am I? In this grey room. My wish is to be able to decorate my little room. Hmm. <gasps> 
Wallpaper. I knew it would come in handy sometime. Oh, oh, how exciting! Mm. <laughs> no, don't look. This is going to be a surprise. Off you go. Leave me to my decorating. Ooh, why don't we go somewhere? We'll come back later and see Lifter's room. Wind, wind. That's a great idea, Sol. We could all go somewhere windy. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? I never do. Where are we going today? Where are we going to play? Where are we going today? Where are we going today? There's Neptune. That's windy. Going to Neptune would give Lifter time to decorate her room in peace. Let's find out about Neptune. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Neptune, so pay attention. This is the solar system, and these are the planets. This one at the end is called Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet. Neptune is the farthest planet from the sun. That makes Neptune terribly cold, one of the ice giant planets. So remember, Neptune is a big blue planet, farthest from the sun, and it's very cold. Could you please help me remember that? <laughs> Neptune is a big blue planet farthest from the sun and it's very cold. Thanks. Cosmo out. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own, Lifter? Oh, of course, Petal. Couldn't be happier. Wait until you see what I do with the place. Off you go. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Begin launch sequence. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end The ice giant Neptune Our cold and windy friend So beautifully blue Oh, what a lovely view That far breeze from the sun Makes it cold Neptune, Gil! An update for your Neptune location file is available. Downloading update now. Download failed. Retrying. Please wait. We don't have to wait for Gil. Will you help me find Neptune? Great! These are all the planets. The sun is here. If we could remember whether Neptune is close to the sun or far away from the sun, then we'd know which way to go. Is Neptune close to the sun or far away from the sun? Far away! This one is Neptune. Neptune is a big blue planet farthest from the sun and it's very cold. It's out that way, Dad. Update installed. Now, to get to Neptune. We know. Farthest from the sun. Well, it would have sounded better coming from a supercomputer. <laughs> Wow! Neptune is beautiful! There we go! Whoa! There we go! <laughs> <laughs> We've landed in a windy part of Neptune. And uh, it's so cold. <laughs> cold! I'd really rather stay behind, you know. The trip out will do you good, Gil. <laughs> do you feel it, Sol? The wind is even stronger than Lifter's breath. Wind! <laughs> <laughs> what we need is a kite. And it just so happens... A kite! 
right. Watch this, everyone! <laughs> no, don't watch that. That wasn't it. <laughs> don't worry, Dad. Look. <gasps> Stabilizing shoes. Windier. Scanning. Analysis indicates that conditions are very windy. Can you be more specific, Gil? Um, yes. Breezy, blustery, one might say. Hmm. Westerly wind approaching 2,000 kilometers per hour. Is that a lot? Yes. That makes Neptune the windiest planet in the solar system. The windiest planet in the solar system? Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. And that's too windy for us. We better head back to the ship. <laughs> Dad! Don't worry. I did seven extra push-ups this morning. Arms of steel. I'll never let go. <gasps> Dad, let go! But if I let go, my kite will blow away. It's my favourite kite. It's my only kite. Dad, let go before it takes you any higher. Warning. Prepare for massive gust of wind in three, two, one. <laughs> That's right! We can just let go over one of those hills. It's too high. I don't think I can do it. They'll be perfect for a soft landing. You can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course. Really? I can do it. That's right. Let's jump onto the soft hills. Help me work out when to let go. When we're right above the hill, shout now. Now? Not yet. When we're right above it. Now? Almost. Now! Let go, everyone! <laughs> 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 oh, oh, I love slides. <laughs> We're back where we started. My kite. Oh. You'll get another kite someday. <laughs> <gasps> Let's get inside. We'll go and find out how Lifter is getting on with her decorating. Yay! Begin launch sequence. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end. The ice giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. So beautifully blue. Oh, what a lovely view. But farthest from the sun makes it cold. Neptune is the windiest planet in the solar system. Past all the other planets towards the solar system's end. The ice giant, giant Neptune, our cold and windy friend. Lifter! It's beautiful! It is rather lovely, isn't it, sweetie? It's been a wonderful birthday. Just wait until you see the rest of it. The rest of what? 
Oh, lifter. Oh. <gasps> the moon base is beautiful. The whole moon base, every inch. Well done, lifter. Mission complete. All I have left is this one square of flowery wallpaper. Seems such a shame to let it go to waste. Hmm. A kite! <laughs> go, Dad! Yay! Win, win! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at it go. <laughs> 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 